Let's look at the richest people on the planet in 2023. Steve Ballmer is the former CEO of Microsoft and owner of the NBA Los Angeles Clippers. He made his fortune from his long years at the computer giant Microsoft. He began his career at Procter & Gamble as a product manager. However, at Stanford's graduate school he met Bill Gates and joined in the creation of Microsoft. His current fortune is $84.8 billion. In ninth place of the richest people in the world is Sergey Brin. The entrepreneur's family moved from Moscow to the United States when Sergey was only six years old. He was educated at the University of Maryland and went to graduate school at Stanford University, where he met Larry Page. Together they founded Google. In 2004, Google held an initial public offering that made Brin a billionaire, his capital as of 2023 is $88.8 .8 billion. Mexico's richest man, Carlos Slim Elu, worked for his father's company and then inherited his business. Carlos opened his own brokerage firm, Inversa Versatile. In the early 1980s, during the devaluation of the peso and the sharp drop in oil prices, he bought several companies that had fallen in value, one of the largest cigarette manufacturers Sagatum, the Sanborns chain of stores Reynolds Aluminium and others. In the 1990s he gained control of the telephone company Telmex and the wire and fiber optic cable manufacturer Grupo Condomex. Ten years later he began buying up mobile TV operators across Latin America, combining them into American Mobile. His fortune is $90.7 billion. Larry Page is one of the founders of the Google search engine. While studying at Stanford, he met Sergey Brin, whom we have already told you about. Together they developed search engine technology while working in Page's dorm room, and in 1998 they opened the internet company Google. His fortune at age 49 is $92.8 billion. Bill Gates opens the list of the richest people in the world. Bill wrote his first computer program when he was 13 years old. At Harvard University, Gates met Steve Ballmer. A year after enrollment they created the operating system for the Altair 8800 computer of micro-instrumentation and telemetry systems. The first consumer version of Windows appeared in 1985. Its capital is $106.1 billion. Warren Buffett is one of the most famous investors, nicknamed the Oracle of Omaha for his ability to pick undervalued stocks. At the age of 35, Buffett bought a controlling stake in Berkshire Hathaway, a troubled textile manufacturing company, on the basis of which he created a holding company engaged in the investment and insurance business. Berkshire's portfolio includes shares in such companies as Apple, Chevron, Coca-Cola and many others. Buffett bequeathed most of his fortune to charity. Larry Ellison is chairman, CTO, and co-founder of software giant Oracle. The company has made dozens of acquisitions, including multi-billion dollar purchases of PeopleSoft, Siebel, BEA, and Sun Microsystems. In September 2014, Ellison stepped down as Oracle's CEO, though he remained with the company as executive chairman and chief technology officer. The founder of the largest online retailer Amazon, Jeff Bezos, stepped down as CEO in 2021 and lost his place as the richest man in the world. Until 2021 Bezos served as Amazon's CEO, but his interests were not limited to retail. In 2000, he founded the aerospace company Blue Origin, and in 2013 he bought the Washington Post. In addition, the businessman is interested in the topic of extending human life. He invested in the startup Altos Labs, which is engaged in a cellular rejuvenation program. The social network Twitter recently acquired by Elon Musk has become another landmark company in the businessman's arsenal. He is best known for his Tesla electric cars and SpaceX rockets. In 2002, the entrepreneur founded SpaceX, which produces launch vehicles. She signed several contracts with NASA and the US Air Force to develop rockets for launch into space. Musk then co-founded electric car manufacturer Tesla. Also in the businessman's portfolio of assets appeared two companies, OpenAI, which is engaged in artificial intelligence, and Neuralink. The latter is developing a neurochip which, according to the idea of its creators, will one day be able to work as a link between the brain and the computer. Its current capital is $183.2 billion.
Bernard Arnault runs the French holding Louis Vuitton Mote Hennessy, which owns more than 70 fashion and beauty brands, including Louis Vuitton and Sephora. In 2021, he made the biggest purchase in his history, buying Tiffany for $15.8 billion. Under Arnault's leadership, LVMH became the largest company by market capitalization in the Euro Stocks 50 index. According to data at the close of trading on January 27, its capitalization is about 417.9 billion euros and Bernard's own fortune amounts to 220.2 billion dollars.